hello guys what's going on it's captain juke 17 here it's been a while i've posted a video on youtube so i decided to make a change and do an app review today so today's app we're gonna be treating right now it's that achiever the app right there oh wait i did not activate my arrow let me go and activate it right now so how's your day how's everything been doing god bless you guys god bless everyone over the world god bless your families and god bless our beloved country oh flash notification i have a notification i'm coming back um let me check this out wow check this out airtel yeah i have 12.75 mb left okay that people will do me enough um so i'm gonna do an app review on z achiever now where am i where is what no that's not what i want okay wait let me let me do this again so yeah aha uh -huh, finally i found it rush thank you now so um, as i'm saying um we have z achiever here now this app what it's mainly about is um you guys you know what wait i have to connect my otg no i'm coming back okay please stay tuned i'm sorry um i'm coming back i mean so so you guys were back like i said i had to connect my mouse um along with my otg so um the thing is i have something to do with my phone right now uh, i'm multitasking actually so let's uh, let's resume that there. so we have a uh, um you know we have a map sorry we have an app here which is an achiever this one okay. so it's really a good app and it's i'm telling you guys it would it really help you in a lot of things for example you're looking for an app that can compress well that achiever does it i'm show you um it's free on the play store but if you are looking for a type of you know that achiever that you want to download and you want to download the type that's uh, from coming then they are so here it is so if you're looking for the type of download the place right now you see what's the last of the may 7 today is may the 5th my sorry 19th so if you're looking for an app that can do it all so it's it's z achiever you can even see it's an easy 7 z app um now yo, you guys are using android 4.4 it's and it's still crashes well guess what z achiever still does it for you it still does it for you it compresses um it's uh you know it joins zip files it opens zip files it can even help you create a zip hole i was surprised this app could do it i usually used to use um raw is it raw by microsoft which one is it yeah so i used to use raw here where is raw, where is raw? um r e r so yeah raw this is raw right over here you see so i used to use raw and trust me raw works but not completely um, like Z Achiever. Z Achiever does come much faster compression. I have, you see, as you see here, I have my J2ME, sorry, I have my J2ME here. You know, what I used to actually uh, get, the sorry, what I used to actually pull on my J2ME files in, because this is my original J2ME file. This is it, the J2ME loader. And if I open it, if I open it and I didn't open it I just highlighted it how did I highlight if you don't have a mouse or OTG on it's simple to highlight just tap this direction here this file just tap the file and it's automatically highlighted so I tap the file you see tap it I'm making it really well so if you tap if you hold on the file you hold on like this to bring up pressure to compress as for information copy cut or delete so information right now it's still calculated so you see i have total file kind of source for four files in it and the size of 194.07 how do you think 
games like that will be much. Of course, it'll be much. Let me even show you inside. So, go to Army Loader, open it. Sorry, um, let me go back. There we go. So, uh, uh, okay. So, Jerry 2 Army is, uh, you know, far. Look what is inside. Um, yeah, you, you see this uh, need for speed on the undercover. The thing is, it's a game, it's a joy game. Even if you view or you extract it, it's in SIS, it's not in JAR, like all the games. Let me open my games folder. So when you install games, sorry, apps like J2 ME Loader, you know, the one here, this time. Oh no, this is what I do. So J2 ME Loader, you know, this app right over here. When you install it, it's gonna automatically create a file. And what better app to use to open that file and compress it with Z Archiever? Z Archiever is a really good app you can use to do this. Um, if you open my games, you, by default you will, you won't have a game folder. You won't have a game folder. But let's hold it down. This is the option it will, you know, it brings. Sorry, guys. It brings compress, compress to seven zip or compress to zip file. Well, I'll give you information on it. So I have 36, you know, 36 um, megabits. No. Sorry. So I have 36, um, approximately 37 megabits of um, file size in there. Let's check it out. And you see all the games. See how it says dot jar, dot jar, dot jar. But I told you here before, this one here. If I open the zip file for Need for Speed Undercover. It says dot SIS. I need the SIS on compress compressor. Uh, sorry, SIS um, opener. So too bad Z Archiver is not for that. In fact, till now on the Play Store, there's no SIS opener. I'll show you what I mean. Till now on the Play Store, there's no SIS file opener. Let me type it. SIS. You see, there is no file. Opener, there are emulators for SIS, but let me just type this now. You see, we have lots of files right here, here, but none of them actually does you know SIS open. Even if you open this one, SIS is still not featuring it. Um, you know, I checked everything, I've downloaded the app, I uninstalled it because it's not like Zero Achiever. <laughs> But if you're a gamer and you really want to help with your compression, ZRG is the best app for you. I do recommend having RAR in case of anything goes wrong. You know, RAR will also find out the root purpose of all other apps and the rest. So if anything goes wrong, just go and download RAR from the Play Store. This is how it should look like. You know, this one here. This one here, this is how it should look like. So go ahead and open it in the Play Store. Now, let's continue. In Z Achiever, you can do a lot. If you tap this, if you go to this icon right over here, which is the more option, there's more select. You can select all. And here's the best thing you have to select everything. I won't use my mouse, okay? So, as you see, I've removed the mouse. I'm refreshing. I tap, I hold the top. I tap and hold, okay? I tap and hold, and look what happens. Highlights everything. No other file compression I ever download could do this. And I'm happy Z Archiever could do it. Let's say, okay, we're done. Now it's very easy. You can just hold down, hold it down, hold. You can choose any file. Don't click from the file here. If you click from the file here, it's just this error. You know, if you click from the file here, or you hold it from the file here, it's not going to bring your version. Hold it from a highlighted or a non, even if this is not, you can hold it here and it will highlight it for you. So hold it on any highlight, this. don't hold it here, it's not going to do anything, it's just going to mark off. So as you can see, let me mark that again. So instead of using this multi-select, just hold this here. If you're a new gamer, this tutorial is for you. And you're starting your YouTube channel, you want to move files quickly and faster than any other file folder, better than, you know, apps like Files that come with your phone or files by Google, like which I don't, I, I recommend you just keep on your phone for later activities. Because one thing about these files by Google, uh, maybe that'll be in a, in a separate video. Uh, so, one thing I like about a file by Google, I'll just tell you all in one, okay? All in one. Zen Achiever couldn't do it. 
But thanks by Google will do it will tell you what was last as you can see my internet is on right now so it will tell you what was last you know the last media file or media section that entered your phone. It shows pops up WhatsApp messages sorry WhatsApp images, screenshots, Facebook, out of war images, game trailers, you know a lot. So we even have, we even wow we even have images I downloaded just yesterday. I mean three days ago, sorry. What's up video from Monday, this one from Sunday, and everything. So the same thing Z Achiever does, but one thing about Z Achiever is that you see this side so where it says 13, you know, this side where it says 13 gig free. It's only you telling you you have 13 gig free. I have for uh, internet storage, I have 69 gig free. Z Achiever will tell you the entire complete thing you have. Even if you go to clean on files, you know, um, files by Google, it'll just tell you 58.58. It's not telling you the complete thing, you know. Uh, in your full memory, out of 128 gig used, 18.84 uh, gig out of 32 gig used for my memory card. So it's not going to completely tell you. But Z Achiever is, if you just click this place here, click it. You see the real deal. This is the real deal, you guys. This is the real deal. Now, you guys are seeing on my phone here, it says, you know, 108.91. I'll explain to you that right now. I bought this phone, Infinix Note 11 Pro, as you've seen in my last video. I bought this phone. The only sufficient space Infinix was able to live for me on this Hot 11 was 108.91. So the achievement is telling me the true memory I actually have on this phone. Truly, it's 128 gig, but preset factory files have occupied those spaces, and you cannot be able to use even those even if you've entirely occupied the entire memory conversation and memory slots. It's still not gonna give you that section, so that is the reason why you know this happened. 108.91. This is exact. When I turned on my phone, this was the same thing. Even RAR told me 108.91. The thing is, this app, this um files. Sorry, let me get rid of that small arrow. These files will tell you. You know, these file explorer apps, just like on your. Explorer on your Windows, your Mac, your Linux, they will tell you exactly the real memory you have on your phone. Remember, I told you Google app said what 128 gig used. You know, it's not mean the entire memory have 128 gig, which is true, but it didn't tell me exactly, you know, the real gig from far factory percent. So I have to instead download the app that could do it, and that was Zen Achieve. Thank God for apps like this. You guys can say it too, you know. <laughs> so if you now you surprise you have files like this where you just click, you know, two files on the notification panel where you just click, and you can enter your know, those shortcuts. They are shortcuts to files. Instead of going through this uh, pathway which says storage, emulated zero music, let's go through that right now. You know, device memory. So let's go to that storage emulator zero and look for music, which is right here. See, takes it to the same place. Music, see, it's to the same place. Can you imagine that? Now, you'll be thinking, how did this pop up here? Are they deletable? And what other things that can they do for me? Here's number one how they pop up here is. The developer of the app made these two to be default because in our everyday social lives we download a lot of stuff and we love listening to music as we download them as well. Which is good, I'd say I'll give a thumbs up on that one. Second reason is how you know how you had this, it's simple. Highlight a file. Highlight a file. Now long tap it and you will see the section down here. Which says add to favorites. This one here, add to favorites. Click it, 
and you see what it's now asking you what kind of icon will you love for your favorite how you do that it's simple you go here this right over you you go there Drop the down icon so this is color design packages I'm going to be using an image for like this so this and okay then you can unalign it back because if it's still high and you click it back it's going to bring up this okay if it's still aligned let me get rid of the mouse okay so if it's still aligned and you tap it like this it's still going to bring some um, you know some compression options for you it's going to open the compression panel how do you want it do you want it compressed to zip you know to zip folder not a zip file a zip sorry yeah a zip file sorry if you want to compress it to zip folder and a zip file you want to compress it to 7 zip zip file and zip folder or you just want to compress now i will show you that right now if i tap compress to zip it's starting i will click you see it says android successful trade which is down here now let me say i want to compress it to now you notice it's it's that zip okay now if you want to do it in a that seven zip because by holding it by holding this highlight you know you tap and hold tap and hold or let me say tap hold it will bring this panel up for you to compress copy record the list the name information and the rest so let's say copy to seven zip which it will do and do you have it? 7 zip zip file. Now let's just say we only want to compress it, but we don't know exactly what we want to compress it into, so just highlight it for tap hold, compress. And there are options here for you. Wow, look at that. Tar, tar.bz2. Tar.gz, Tar.xz, Tar.lz4, Tar.zx, you know, ZSCD. Now, this is why I love ZDG. Let me say, I try to use that 7z. Compression level. Now, compression level, how fast, how slow do you want it? If you click no compression level, no problem. But if you click fastest, it will go really, really fast. I'll show you. Watch. Overwrite, yes. See that? Pew! It's done in a fraction of a second. Now let's do that again. If you like, you can use tap hold or tap. If you just tap on it, it's bring you this compression um, section. If you hold, tap hold, it will bring you these other features, you know, other stuff. So it's really, really good. I love the other this part. So let's say compress. Now encryption data. AES. Now you have two options. It's either you use a encryption data AES two five six, or you use encryption data AE with data file and names. Now, I recommend you use AES two five six. Don't use data and file names. Don't. No, just don't. Okay. So, yeah, just don't. So yes, AES two five. So let's say we want it at maximum, okay? Let's compress it to maximum. Yes. Now you notice it was that took like up to three seconds. That's because it was a month maximum, okay? Now let's say we want it at ultra. I've never done ultra, so for the first time I'm gonna be doing ultra. Ready? Three, two, one, and ultra. Yes. So ultra just took like Two and a half seconds. So I'll suggest you use fast. That's my recommendation. Use fast. Compression level fast. Okay. If you don't like, you know, if you don't want to use any compression level, just do no compression. That's for me. I always use fast. I don't use normal. If I use normal, this is what's gonna happen. Just watch goes the normal way and that took four seconds and that took like you know, three four seconds so, um, you can also copy it 
then I just click, if you notice, I just click, just if you want to copy something, just just click folder, highlight folder, bring it here, copy, and paste. Super boost TC, super boost copy. So, if you want to delete, just go here and delete. Yeah. Now, another thing this girl can do is look at the, if you look at this icon, sorry, look at this blip here, it's a plus. And it's for two, uh, and it's for two things. Is I know you want a folder which you can create a new folder. I'll just create a new totally new folder. Or you want to compress, and you see it brings that. Now you see compression level more and more. You know everything. So if you want to have a password on your files, Zed Achiever does it for you. I don't know if Rob. I think, I'm not sure. Have I done it for Rob? Not sure. Since so if you're in Nigeria, you want to keep your file space sensitive. You don't want hackers to know about it. You don't want to prevent people from finding anything about it. Just go here and type a password when creating your file. So, you know, people in the background, will try, you know, they'll try to hack it. So maybe you got kidnapped, you got done everything, they try to access that file from your boss, his laptop, they won't get anything really. They'll be pressuring the donor, you know, the person currently holding that laptop. What's the password? What's the key and everything? They'll punch you, terrorize him, they'll do everything. Then you start to bring you start negotiating all those things, blah, blah, blah. What's out of Hollywood? Okay? That is all Hollywood. Where in the real life, they do what Hollywood does, okay? So, let's continue. Split the volumes. Now, the please, whatever you do, don't split them. Get my keyboard down. Whatever you do, please do not split into volumes, okay? Or you click other size. You know, how many MB do you want it to be? Splitting into volumes can cause some of these files to go. <laughs> you cannot get it. They cause the. They will cause it to misbehave when you're trying to extract or you're trying to open. So let's. So we're already done with this now. I'm gonna exit out of this. Cancel. So where's uh? So I have a lot of files. I told you guys I'm a gamer. I told you I'm a gamer. I have a lot of files. So let's say with this seven zip, I highlight it. This, you know. Or you can just hold it. Now, for guys just watching the video now, if you, or you know, you have to skip part of it, if you want to get your file here highlighted, just go to the, I'm using my hand, I'm not going to use my mouse, I'm using my hand now, so just go here, okay, 7-zip, just tap that, you know, that folder icon, tap it, and it's automatically highlighted, so if you want to, you want to tap hold, just tap and hold, and it brings up this for you, if you want to share it, to bring up your sharing share panel, you know. So I have a lot of apps that they share you know, a lot. So you see your eyes here, parallel space. By the way, I'll be doing uh, videos in coming weeks now. Every week I'll be dropping a video. This my uh, you know you kind of get the idea. <laughs> so in order not to waste too much of your time, let's end the video here. Uh, but before we end it, let's do what we want to do. So, you want to extract it, just click it. Don't highlight it, okay? Even if you highlight and you hold it, it only gives you information. This is all the information about it, so... You can copy it. You know, let's go back to that information. Let's say, let's hear which says copy. No. Here. Copy. So, just click that copy. It says, that right here it says copy to my notification, you know, my notes app, my notebook app, everything. So, if you want to extract, hold it. Don't tap hold. Just hold, and it will bring you this panel for you. So, if you notice the ex, you know the extract, uh, the extraction panel is not here. So, instead of just holding it, this proves that even if you hold it, it's not going to extract you. Just tap it, and boom, extraction panel comes out. Now you can extract here, extract to archive name, extract. If you click extract, it will tell you which folder you want to extract to. Do you want to create a folder you extract it to? Yes. Now I'm going to show you. I'll call this one new folder one. 
and I'll paste it here. Use the panel here, tap paste. And you see inside folder one, my design package is in it. It's been extracted, but you still have the zip file. That's one cool thing I love about it. So let's go ahead and delete. No, no, no folder. Let's go ahead and delete. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I end it. So tap to extract the extract the file name. Now I'll show you how extract your archive name is. This is what you do. Let's view it first. This is the file. Okay. This is the file name for this draw design package. That's what I have right now. So um, okay. So um color draw design packages, that's what it's called. So um, what I want to do again. Yes, so color draw design packages. Sorry guys if I'm really boring. The thing is I'm going through the entire road folder. I don't want to leave anything untouched. Okay, I don't want to leave anything untouched. So extract to archive name. We just saw the archive name. If you click view here, this is the archive name, the file name. So from here you can click if you hold it here if you highlight it tap hold information you can only copy but you cannot extract from inside the unextracted folder if you tap hold again you will notice there's all the only panel you can bring here is the tools panel which is share delete rename copy and information you cannot cut it out of you know you can cut it out of the distance so invert selection what does it do well you know I'll go to invert selection very soon. So this is a long video, like I said from the start. It's a full ground up. So just tap this extract here. Now let's go ahead and test it right here. No, let's test. Let's do some test. Archive does not contain package errors. We'll test again. Archive does not contain error. If it contains error, you would have seen a thunderbolt lightning there right there. So, it will tell you. That's why I said, you guys, whenever you are making a, you know, whenever you want to turn something to zip, when you keep compressed, I want to turn something to zip. Don't put any split into volumes. I told you, don't put this, or else it will cause that, um, you know, notification warning that just said right now when you click test. It's, it's which time you say archive, archive, um, complete. No, or it, no, instead of that, it says action complete with error. Let me do one thing here now. Um, let me say, I want to rename it. It tells it, right? So, okay, wait, sorry, not this way. I thought this method would work. So, Here's what will happen. We'll go inside a folder. Which one? PSP. Okay. My games are here. Now let me say I want to rename this. Your arms are okay. my castle, your heart is my sky. Now let me say I want to add something here like four or five. I add four or five, you see it's complete. Now if I want to rename it again. I don't know if this will work. I'm not sure. I've tried it once. Um, I don't know if it's this one. Okay, so it's not this way. So the only way that will happen is if you add two folders with the same name. So I'm gonna copy this folder, paste it here. Again, you see it says game copy. Now if I try and rename it, remember I just copied the folder. That's why it says game copy. So if I rename the folder to only game, here's what we say. Operation completed with errors. Okay, so let's do that again. Rename. Okay. So this is the right way. Let me see. I've got rid of it. Copy. Get rid of it. Call it game because the file leaves the original name. So one good thing about Zeta Children is to tell you before you change the name for anything, it will tell you its original name. Even if you've cleared everything, even if there is nothing sorry even if there is nothing on this 
section here it will still tell you no other file you know like file explorer or file archive openers will tell you will show you this section it won't they won't even if you're using windows mac or linux they won't show you that that's why i'm using z achiever as a means of specific ways of telling you what truly these great app features so let's continue let me say okay everything will be g sorry g a m e remember you have a folder with the same name and you copy that folder i want to name another folder that same name the operation will be completed with errors so that's why copy is allowed let me see i want to copy this it will be called copy copy just watch <laughs> game copy copy <laughs> You copy copy again! <laughs> so let's say we want to remove that name, copy. Okay? So we want to remove that name, copy. We re successfully removed it. And let's say yes, game copy. Operation completed with errors. How good is this app? To tell you everything you know you actually do here, it's really um, a good time. So now that's the same thing to tell you, you know, this thing to tell you, operation, let's copy it. So we've made a copy, you see now, coverage or design packages, Cop um, rename, let's say we want to get rid of that copy, so we successfully gotten rid of it, operation complete with error. So any error file, you know, like I mentioned before, any file, you know, any file that you have that's full of error when you go ahead and test it like this don't highlight just click it like this let me remove my mouse so i will remove my mouse my mouse is still connected uh, let's say you tap it like this test if there's a curve even it's right now it says archive does not contain error down here Instead of, instead of it saying archive does not contain error, and you do know when you were compressing that when you were compressing, you intentionally increased into split volume. I don't want to do split volume. Okay, let me just say I do a split volume, uh, which is going to take serious long time for this one, you see. So I'll cancel it instead. Yes, please. So. Let's refresh. How do we do it? It's, you swipe down and it's refresh. Quickly, it quickly refreshes than any other app I know. Refreshes it. I was surprised. It refreshed more faster than RAR. It refreshed more faster than files by Google. It even refreshed more faster than my files app here. Where's the app? Um, these files here, it refreshed more than it. This is the files that works with all your downloads, as you can see. This is the file that works with all your downloads. It refreshed faster. Okay, let me refresh. And you see, even in the refresh here. Oh, wait, you can't. Sorry, it's not this one you refresh. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, here it is. Files manager. So it refreshed faster than this one. Even this one right here. It refreshed faster. So that's to tell you. How great this app is and how it could help you as a gamer, as a phone app developer, or you know, any anybody wants to be. So right now we're recording for 30 33 minutes right now. That's 34 minutes right now. So let me go ahead and delete this. So if you have remember if you have any corrupt files in there, I remember three years ago I downloaded a file. Uh I downloaded it, it says archive. Action. instead of uh, operation complete with errors that is the old um, version of this app it will say action complete with errors okay it will say action complete you know in this new version here that supports android lemma so it says action and uh, operation complete with errors the former versions from 2019 will say up um action complete with errors not operation complete with errors so i really like the way the, the developer of this app have developed everything to make sure everything is much better 
so i'll go ahead and de delete this so yeah all right draw this number here is zip and copy zip so i'll go ahead and delete those the only file you know the only backup file i want is jwm yes that reminds me last but not least make sure you have a backup file for you know whenever you want to reset your phone maybe you click the settings um no let me click your settings yeah so if you continue um go to your settings here you click your system like i said i'm on android version 11 you know if you watch my last video the last one i did about my phone you see if it's hot 11 android version 11 so this this phone is working perfectly but it's a medium range where you, you know it's a medium range for hello g37 so this video is really gonna be long of course so if you reset your phone either erase all data reset app preferences reset collaboration parameters make sure you have a backup zip folder or if you want to do it in raw you want to have a backup raw just go to raw here click raw then give all this permission um what i gave raw permission access to files i don't know why you see that's what happens when i reset app preferences so raw not allowed i will give um, allowance to the app now so the app should work okay so there we go support brand developer uh, thank you you want to, you want to steal my money again i do not go work <laughs> the thing is i support the developer okay i support the developer and you see here 109 approximately like i told you it was 108.74 now it's here it's 109 it's telling you the real truth about this as allocated storage for your phone so if you want to tap just tap here you know highlight oh it's not the same thing for raw so i'll do that in another video about raw just tap it here go to this plus add uh, files to archive which one do you want so raw has only three ones raw zip and raw 4x okay so you just click it and it's really really useful um, so just cover it to dot raw and you're good to go so it looks like I'm telling two apps, but no, I won't. I'm going into one app in full, while any other apps I go into are selected. Okay, so th that's why I have G2ME loader here. The thing is, I'll tell you why I have this. I ha I had the old version downloaded from apkpure.com. So I had a old version of G2ME. Idea. Um, so I had the old version of J2M, you know, maybe I don't need to do that. So I had the old version of J2M, you know, like the third, second, third, the, the fourth version. This is like the sixth or seventh version of J2M now. So I like the third, fourth version of J2M. This is not the logo sign we need. So this is like the sixth or seventh um, version here. Um, if you check the info, it's um 1.7.5 play this is the play version okay 1.7.5 play there's no currently no new version on the play store right now now okay so there is it so um i had to create you know compress my zip sorry i had to compress the files it was operating on you see every app has its own file you see everywhere download so this download that file I just showed you here, which I'll do in another video. This file, this is where your downloads work in best. The best file that comes in with your phone. I'm not sure which company owns it. Sorry. Uh, I'm not sure which company owns it. But I do tell it comes by default in almost every phone. My mom has it in the Infinix Hot 10 lights my dad has it on his own infinix auto and light my sister also has it in her oppo a16k so it comes by default every phone comes as a different special file folder so oh wait i should have given that information so everything has its own files folder that comes preset so allow yeah 
so he has to come preset folders and they do all this compression and everything for you so right now let me continue what I was saying which is last but not least if you want to back up anything remember tap hold compress to zip 7z or just tap sorry or highlight and hold which is still the same any anyway you can highlight it to still bring up this and you hold here it will still bring up this you can tap hold it still bring up that option so i hope you guys like this video um let me see i've gone through everything i've gone through create which is still the same method here if you look this click this icon here does the same yeah so it's the same archive um folder which is this is archive this is folder here so it's the same thing so yes that what i like about this is you can sort this app by yourself i i have my own in detail if i can compact it to be like this you see it won't tell you any extra thing if you have it in grid it will be like this still easy to highlight you see still easy so for some of you that skip the video how to highlight is very simple uh, let me take it back to the way it's come for the app so yeah now you see the dates are back so if you want to highlight hold tap hold everything is highlighted everything is highlighted now i want to compress everything to zip which is crazy because the information right now is going to surpass more than you see that 52 files it's still taking time this app is taking its sweet ass time to actually whoa okay so we have 12.71 gig wow <laughs> usually your average phone would have up to even 10 gig used in storage of internal memory wow i have internal memory no wonder it says i have half allocated memory left i have 64 you know 64 by 24 gig files left so that's one thing pretty cool so if you want to remove all this green instead of just tapping it from here tap 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 no you want to have everything just like what happened now the same way you tap hold tap hold again and it gets rid of everything for you so i hope you guys like this video smash that uh, smash that like button leave some comments below and and do have a good day so as always uh before i cut the video now Look at this hidden folder. Everything that's in secret, okay? Everything that is secret. Let me put this thing back. So, everything that's in secret. Boom. I intentionally hid it, okay? I always have my my folder hidden. Now, if you exit and come back into the app automatically it hides your folder because that's what the new version does and i like it that way if you have you know your folder not hidden which is here it will bring this for you everything trash bin i don't need those i don't even need this down here so go ahead and sorry not here go ahead here and turn it off so there we go so i believe i've covered everything yeah plugins it's for you know rules no nothing really much to do oh please sorry screen off as you can see this root is used for you know operations are faster compared to sf access so if you want um compression which is still the same on the, the, the you know now show all those dot dots now click those dots now to navigate up to the directory tree now this directory tree is this dot you see here it's allocated in zero like i said click those two dots again highlights click those two dots oh sorry not click hold it's because i'm using my mouse okay so i'm not going to use it hold i'm using my fingers to hold it and i use my fingers to hold again and it's gone so i couldn't believe i didn't go through settings so it's a long video but i've gone through every very good access okay to make sure you guys understand this app and what it does. So square thumbnails, what does it do? Let's see. Uh, I don't see anything different. Uh, square thumbnails. So there's nothing much you want to do here. 
square thumbnails. Let's turn that off. It didn't do anything, okay? That's right, it didn't do anything. Interface, too tight. This interface is too fast. Hmm. Well, nothing's new. So, what if I click a file? Nah, nothing's new. There's nothing new. So, let's go ahead and turn that off. Remember, everything you tap on, you see nothing's new. Tap it off. Okay, so general, this is where you want to be. Home folder. If you don't want home, you want storage, your SD card. I put my SD card right now. So, if I go back and exit out of the app, and anytime I always want to come in, SD card. That's my memory card. And you see it works. It absolutely works. So um, let's go back to general. I'll put back my uh, home okay, device memory. So everything here is okay. Uh, new content opening, no. Archive action, no. Leave everything here the way it is. Override confirmation. Make sure it's ticked. Make sure it's checked. Okay? Because here's the warning. If you overwrite, okay, if you overwrite, sorry, let me, you remember at LAN, J2ME loaded at zip, if I extract here, you notice it did not bring up the overwrite, you know, so I cancelled it, yes, operation cancelled by user, so thank God I did not, you know, extract, sorry. You have to quickly cancel that. You notice it did not ask for override. So cancel. Yes, please cancel that. So operation cancel by user. So everything is still in here. Nothing got extracted. It's only the one I'm still have here that's preset by the app. It's still in here. So yeah. So yeah, you notice the notification panel. I was using a recorder. Uh, the thing is, when I was going into settings for you guys, that recorder stopped automatically stopped recording. So I'm now using AZ's recorder, which I will do another separate video tutorials on those ones as well. So there are going to be lots of apps. You notice I have over 95 apps on this phone. I have a lot. I have a lot of these apps. Okay. So I have a lot apps on this video. Games, videos, everything. Those ones are coming up in separate videos as well. So we're done with Z Achiever here. Like I said before, make sure you guys like. I can't believe I didn't go through this. And I call this a long video. Click restore. And it will take you to your internal um, app. Sorry, the thing is, I'm really shocked. I I didn't go through backup and restore. What wrong? What's wrong with me? Okay, so let me do that for you now. Good thing because you guys would have gone through that and start asking me, uh, uh, you know, asking that question in the comment section below, saying, "I discovered something new," and you know, you might have seen that backup and restore. You will now start asking me. I saw backup and restore. I did it. It works. Did you do it? I'll be like, where did you see that? And before you know it, it will take my my sweetest time to find that section. So, yeah. So it's not say, what do you want to backup? If I click this, no, mostly SD. So okay, so it's an SD card right now. So let me say, I'll click uh, you buy com dot x. Wow, okay, no, please. You guys, <laughs> okay, what is this? Okay, sorry, X Video Studios. Sorry, you guys, what happened? I thought it was see X Video Studio the video. Oh, <laughs> I was afraid that was you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I was afraid that it is. I never go there. I see the I see guys posting this website online xvideos.com i never go there i've gone there once i was horrified it's like a zombie land of crazy human beings doing crazy things let's get rid of let's go out so it's just for my app called video compress oh god that really scared me so right now i'm going to 
yes so let me say yes let's go back uh, we're still in Z Achiever you can see that we're still in Z Achiever so let's go back 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 and uh, that is the settings again so restore you just click something if you click this um, okay sorry we're on the wrong side sd so let me say let's go to infinite report so i want to restore this is what it was happening so this is what you want to restore remember that j 2 me file i had on zr Achiever. this is it here so if you click restore just click it why isn't anything happening maybe it doesn't work for that so i'll click zender come on it's not working get out of here it's not working i don't know why so um but let me say backup okay i finally figured it out if you maybe it's when you back up something like let's try it let's try it so yes this is it za settings.txt okay i get it now operation completely successful so now that's za.txt sorry i took my sweetest time to get that um let's click restore now now that za.txt is right here click it operation completed successfully gosh you guys i apologize i thought i went through everything oh so i hope you enjoyed this video this is the full route you will ever see on youtube people will do quick you know quick user guide on this app zen achiever but they won't do full root with um sorry they won't do full root guys i had to do full root guide for you guys so let me go ahead and delete that where is it okay it's in memory card sd card um so people will do full root so ZA silence this is here so it's on my memory card it's saved on my sd card instead so people will do full root i suggest you also keep this settings in case you uh now why will you cool do keep this settings? the thing is the way the app comes in quickly save that settings so any mistake you did on z achiever you recall this settings.txt you click on it and you or you can only recall this settings.txt in z achiever if you use notepad editor remember i told you any app i select under just one um um app review it's just selective okay so let me say i want to open the txt import files i'm going to click my sd card which is in android sorry android android media it should be it should be. Why, why did it show Sorry, it's supposed to say Android data. Gosh, Android. Where's data? Where's the data? What happened? Why is it not showing data? It's on Android. Yes. I know what to do. I'll go here. Show hidden files. Did it work? It didn't work. So I'll go back and don't show hidden files. So you can, like I said, you see what just happened now. You can only do that in Z Achiever. You see, now I try to do it on, uh, you know, uh, I try to do it right now on this Notepad editor. You see, it didn't work. It didn't show that data. So maybe it's because it wasn't data. Let me cut, cut. So I see. I'll paste it down here. It's here, Z is setting. So instead, let's try that again with Notepad. So this is just selective. It's not really. And much elective, so it's just selective. Import text file. So remember, it's in TXT, so now it's on my phone storage. I will have to go and find it. See it here, it will open. You notice J2 Amyloid not played that's because it's a zip folder or it's an archive file or an archive folder. So it will, it, uh, you know, it won't come under complete bold like ZSL in here. You see, it's bold, but this one's not bold. So Yes, and bullet click it. And one notes added. ZSN is the TXT. Let's see. You see all those Java. So if you are JavaScript developer, this app 
the achiever does it all for you okay so i've gone more than any youtuber right now on this app i spent more than 40 minutes imagine that more than 40 minutes on this video you guys i this my my youtube channel deserves a subscribe button please subscribe i spend my sweet ass time helping you on this app okay the best thing you can do is subscribe share this video to someone you can share it whatever method you know i have my own sharing methods i can just go to vidmate click the link or i can go directly to youtube or yz studio click the link if you're a creator if you're a youtube video creator you must have yz studio it's a must have app okay so as you can see the za.txt open on my notepad and this is everything let me put my notepad on read mode notepad editor so notepad free sorry you see java so if you're a java scripter you are lucky to have notepad free and z achiever working together because you see it's bringing everything from the root file uh, don't let me no no get rid of that so z a from the ground up okay z a 1.0.4 everything then goes to start animation favorites download storage zero music everything it's mentioned here this is all your settings okay this is all the settings ZA, so i'm going to delete that ZA.txt settings so i'll do another i'll do app review on notepad free i downloaded it on on play store it's, it's free you guys that's why it says notepad free better than any other notepad on the play store so that's what now i've let me see i think i've gone through everything now i'm sure i've gone through everything general interface yes file list yes compression yes root yes plugins search plugins and to take you into uh you know you see that so it will take you straight to plugin you know is it achieve plugins you are searching for something like that and there's something that can do that plugin which is that file command so we have z flasher by z dev you see the same person that did this z achiever donate z flasher z u gate so it's the same person that did this you see i'm still on the latest version 1.0.4 people read it that now you see this ratings is because it doesn't perform well or you know or it doesn't perform well on their device or they went ahead to install this so they couldn't review that you see no review yet there is no you know there's no review so instead of them reviewing here you see this one you can review you see five star one way i have three star because you can log in on this google drive on that app so i'll download those other apps one day and i'll do app review on this and you guys do let me know because finally i'm now done okay i'm done with everything i've gone through the ground up and as you can see remember when around 50 minutes of this video remember i created this okay you can also delete it as well how to do it again or you want to move it up let's click on move up now you see it's first instead of download let me say um you can't okay so you can't move it down okay so hold it move up let's say just click on it so we're done with that move up so remember if you want to add to variant just highlight it and then you hold remember or you can hold here as well which is still bringing it add to favorite which is down here let me use my marker so add to favorites which this thing blocked it and you can choose your icon so i'm done with everything i've covered everything i hope you guys like the video can you imagine i thought i went through that backup restore thank god i just saw it now okay thank god i saw that backup and restore so yeah let's go ahead and do uh, let's go ahead and delete that because anytime i exit it's still the factory settings that will pop voice back except for if you change it that you want memory card to be shown first sd card to be shown first instead so i hope you guys like the video subscribe if you are new like the video make sure you share it to 
gamers and other app developers or web page viewers that are out there that they're struggling looking for apps that can do it all Thread Achiever is one of the apps and who knows what my next video is gonna be about is it gameplay because I do gameplays I do gameplays I do app reviews I I can record someone's YouTube video and share it with you guys on my YouTube channel and I can tell you go subscribe to his YouTube channel if the v that is if the video helped you if the video did not help you i won't do any shout outs for that youtuber i won't tell you to go ahead and subscribe to his channel i only do videos that can help you on your daily guide daily usage and everything so very very good and i really ha i really hope that you guys enjoy this video because i'm really happy i have this um app you know dead achiever so make sure you guys like i said before subscribe if you are new and as always i will see you guys on the next one peace out